Hi everyone, today I just wanted to come on and show you how I cinch together the beanie hats that I make because when I was starting out I really struggled to find a method that I liked. Um, there was the method where you cinch each end closed and then turn it inside out um, but for me that felt a bit floppy um, and I wanted something that has a really neat and tidy closure and this is the best method that I've found so far. So when you have your tube done First of all, you just want to pull your end to just start cinching it closed, but don't cinch it all the way. So I like to put the right side of my work on the inside of when I'm sewing together. So what I do is I put my hand all the way in the tube, grab the tube and the end yarn and pull the right side of the work inside because I like to make my beanies double layered so you can see the end is peeking out there then what I do so I give it a bit of a stretch and a sort out just to make sure that all the stitches are flat you can give this end Bit of a tug as well if you want to to just start making the shape but don't again don't pull it too tight and then what you need to do is you need to find your last stitch from this row and your first stitch from the inside of your work and line them up because otherwise if you don't, your beanie will be twisted and they won't sit together nicely. So I sew together using the yarn from the outside of the work. It's just the way that I find easiest. And what you're wanting to do is to pick up these stitches here. They're resting on your cast on and cast off yarn. So, and you're gonna sandwich them in between each other. So we're gonna take the first stitch and then the next stitch we're gonna take is going to be green in this case. I specifically made this beanie with bright coloured yarns so you can see the difference and then you pull, I want to make sure the pink isn't getting caught, you pull not tight just gently and we work all the way around so you can see here there's another stitch so we're going to pick that one up when you first start off, you might find it easier pulling each stitch as you go. And then once you've done a few, you'll find that you're able to pick three or four up in one go. Green. Pink. Green. This is why when you cinch the ends to turn the tube inside out, you don't want to pull them too tight because what you can end up doing is pulling the stitches that you're wanting to pick up, pulling them tight so then they're more difficult to pick up and sew together because they can get really tight, particularly at the beginning and the end of the work. you see now it's starting to close up quite not close up quite nicely but those stitches are just like meshing in zipping in together really nicely so this method's a little more time consuming won't lie it does take a little bit longer than just cinching the ends and sewing them together but I like to think that that extra effort is worth it
these last few stitches can be a bit tight because of the way the yarn's been pulled tight. Right, so I finished sewing my hat together um, and now it's time to cinch it. So what you need to remember when you're cinching is that the turquoise yarn in this instance, the yarn that you've used to sew up with, goes through the hat twice. So it can sometimes be a little bit tougher to get it cinched up because you have to make sure that you're tightening the both loops of um, the turquoise thread. The pink thread's a little easier because it just goes through the pink stitches so if you pull gently, you'll see it start to come together. So, but with the turquoise, what I like to do is pull to tighten it initially and then do gradual tightening and readjusting the stitches and then checking to see that I don't have any loops of the turquoise thread sticking out because they can sometimes get hidden. And it's literally a case of bit by bit. What I like to do, so I can't, because once you've cinched these hats all the way, it's difficult to get them undone. So I put my finger in the middle or a couple of fingers just to make sure that I'm getting the turquoise thread tightened up through, through both of its passes through the hat but I'm not allowing the hat to fully close until I know that this, the second loop has tightened up which in this instance it looks like it has cut because I can't you can feel if there's any more give and if when you check the hat around like this you can see there's no loose turquoise thread it would peep through where the pass through hasn't cinched up yet so you can pull that tight try not to pull too hard because you can snap the threads so you're wanting to gently bit by bit ease your hat closed What you can also take a look at while you are closing it up is you can take a look how your right side is looking, that there's no pink thread peeping, so that's not got caught anywhere, that's looking pretty good. Now I always put a pom-pom on my hat, so if I have a little bit of a hole in the top, I don't stress too much because it just lets me get the needle through to fit the pom-poms because I fit them with a little button. So then you can cut your ends and I give it another pull to tighten it and I will tie two or three nice tight knots like that that's not going anywhere and then I just cut close to the knot this is on the inside anyway so it's not going to be visible this isn't designed to be a reversible hat there. then you can turn your beanie the quick correct way around sometimes you just find the liner gets a little bit bumpy and lumpy inside but you can do that like that so that's your finished beanie and you can see the cinched up hole looks really nice and neat and tidy and then if you want to you can add a pom-pom as I said I like to attach my pom-poms with a button so the way I attach my pom-poms is I thread my needle with both strings and then I find the middle of the hat
pull through then I pop the pom-pom in the middle roughly of the beanie turn my hat inside out just thread one string through one hole one string through another hole tie it nice and tight the idea behind the removable pom-poms is so that when people if they need to spot wash their hats the fur isn't going to get ruined because they can remove it and I do a double bow there we have a lovely beanie all cinched nice and closed with a nice fluffy pom-pom on the top let me know what you think in the comments what you'd like to see next and hopefully i'll see you again soon bye